Building a giant mirror in space. Injecting sulfuric acid into the atmosphere. These ideas may sound like the evil plans of a villain in a James Bond movie, but some scientists think we could actually use them to help save the planet. It's called geoengineering a way to counteract the dangers of man-made climate change. We could suck up all the CO2 with giant vacuums, or plant massive numbers of trees all over the world, or we could inject aerosols into the upper atmosphere. When volcanoes erupt, they launch millions of tons of aerosols into the atmosphere that reflects sunlight back into space. In the past, a single eruption has lowered the average global temperature by up to one degree Fahrenheit. So if we could just reproduce volcanic eruptions, we'd reverse the damages of climate change, right? Not quite. Our study found that geoengineering would be an ineffective way to mitigate the damages that climate change poses to agricultural production. The team's study used models and data from past volcanic eruptions to predict how geoengineering would affect future crop production. We calculate that the Pinatubo eruption in 1991 reduced sunlight by around 2.5%. In the year following these massive volcanic eruptions, crop yields around the world decreased, likely due to the shading. The cooling that geoengineering provides reduces the damage from extreme heat to crops. On the other hand, geoengineering reduces the amount of available solar energy that crops have to grow, and so that is what causes the damage. What we found in our study was the benefits of cooling are washed out by the damages from shading. Unsure of how effective geoengineering could be, the researchers can offer some direction to battle climate change. The surest way to reduce the damages that climate change may impose on ecological or economic well-being is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. 